after unknowingly recorded recordings of them on nights out went viral on social media and drew a barrage of misogynistic remarks, women in the northwest of England expressed feelings of fear. The person creating the recordings is allegedly being intensively sought after by the police right now. Anyone who has been filmed is being urged to come forward. Manchester native Meg, 23, was a victim of the unsettling social trend. The TikTok influencer and makeup artist said that she was filmed during a night out in Manchester. She claimed that until she received a link to the video, she was unaware that she had been filmed. I didn't see him, I didn't know I was being recorded, she stated. Meg said that she was recorded while strolling down Dean's Gate with two strangers. She offered to accompany them on their walk after noticing that they were being harassed by a bunch of men. I just walked with them to get a taxi, so we were all together, she explained. I just ended up having a little conversation with them. A stranger uploaded Meg's video later that evening. It's one of several that are posted every day, generally the same evening that they're filmed, to websites like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. The videos, which are frequently named Liverpool Nightlife or Manchester Nightlife, have received millions of views and a ton of nasty comments. I have no words really other than it just made me feel a bit sick, she stated. It's just not polite at all, and clearly not only towards oneself but also towards other ladies. Many of them would be very young girls, possibly even minors who were unaware that they were being filmed. Videos of girls falling over and bearing their knickers are all over the internet, and then being publicly shared in that manner online. Urgent action is required. The Greater Manchester Police, GMP, claims to be actively searching for the individuals who are producing the recordings. Before their shifts, officers are given a briefing on the circumstances. While filming people in public is not unlawful, according to GMP, it may be if it is causing harassment or other forms of distress. GMP PCs Ellison and Sue stated that because of the technology they utilize, it could be challenging to identify individuals who are filming. According to PC Ellison, many people talk on their phones while they're walking by. We're not sure if they're filming while they walk up the street. Thus, getting that one can be rather challenging. One woman had approached PC Sue about being recorded, he said. She said he had like little Ray-Ban glasses and at the corner was a camera that flashed red, he continued. CH Inspee GMP City of Manchester Central District Chief, Stephen Wiggins, requested anyone who was captured on camera or appeared in the films to come forward. We are very much up against it if we don't get that intelligence, that information, coming from the actual victims and communities themselves, he stated. Recently, we have stepped in several times when we observed men acting strangely in the city core. So our plea from our organization is that people ring us if they see any suspicious behavior in the city center and we'll make sure that will be there. Trafford Rape Crisis member Charlotte is pleading with social media companies to remove the accounts. According to her, victims of sexual violence find it more difficult to come forward because of the victim blaming tone of the comments. It absolutely is a direct causal link to sexual violence, she stated. Comments that place the blame on the victim create an additional layer of shame that becomes a barrier to women accessing the support. Many videos and accounts linked to this content were taken down by TikTok and YouTube due to guidelines violations. A representative for TikTok stated, On TikTok, misogyny is not tolerated. Any content that is discovered to be against these rules will be taken down. The day the accounts are closed can't come soon enough for Meg. It is not appropriate for them to be shared online without permission. There's a real risk of violence against women because of these movies. That same evening, the footage of myself was uploaded. Thus, I think there is a risk of violence if that film was posted while I was still out that evening.